Still in the business news, airport passengers will be in for difficult times as the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, has concluded plans to increase passenger service charge by 100%. The new charge regime scheduled for implementation effective August the 1st requires passengers to pay 2,000 as PSC as against 1,000 Naira for domestic flight. Under the proposed arrangement, international passengers will have to pay $100 as against the previous $50. The PSC, PSC is one of the components factored into airfares by domestic international airlines. The new arrangements will trigger rise in fares at a time the industry is struggling to get passengers returned to the skies on account of the debilitating effects of COVID-19. Now, Managing Director of FAN, Captain Rabiu Yadudu, in a letter dated June 22, 2020, stated that the decision was premised on approval by the Minister of Aviation in a letter referenced and dated August the 3rd of 2017, which he said was sought with the intention to improve and upgrade airports infrastructure, among others. We are now being joined by aviation professional Royal Focados to take a look at all of this new development. Good morning, Focados. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's go straight into the matter. For an industry that was shut down for several months during the pandemic, is an increase in passenger service charge the way to go? Uh, to be honest, thinking about it, Nothing that ambition is totally a wrong idea at this present point in time. Thoughtless of even implementing it. So to answer your question in clear terms, that is not the right way to go. It is completely wrong. From the perspective of the operators, from the perspective of the passengers who happens to be the ones that will patronize the operators, and even from the perspective of a layman, people that know what is happening all over the world, as it involves every other sector, especially the aviation sector that has been shut for months now, suffering from bleeding of loss of jobs, loss of revenues, of um, so many other overhead costs in terms of maintenance of the aircraft. So talking of uh, increase in passenger service fee, which is PSC, is completely wrong. Right. Now, there are also reports that ticket prices will rise. If this is true, uh, will it not impact on the industry negatively? I mean, where is the aviation industry headed, if you like? It will definitely impact. Look, what we are looking at now is something that will affect the industry for a very long time. And it's not peculiar to Nigeria only. It is a worldwide thing. The industry is suffering from loss of jobs, suffering from loss of revenue. I'm talking about increase in ticket fare. It's completely wrong also, because we should be talking about revitalizing the industry, trying to gain passengers' confidence that all safety protocols have been put in place, and it's safe for them to fly and to bring them back to patronize the airline. Bearing in mind that most of these passengers have also lost revenue, source of income. Some of them have lost their jobs. Some of them, their businesses have experienced no diving. So where will they have the money to pay? Mm -hmm. So at this point in time, the industry actually needs government intervention, various intervention initiatives, such as reducing all statistic fees by the Nigeria Civilization Authority, the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, the Nigeria Airspace Management Agency. All these relevant government agencies need to help the airlines and the operators to get back to their feet. So if you are increasing passenger service fee, the 
it will definitely impact on the passengers. And if the airlines definitely in, increase ticket fare, it will definitely impact on the passengers also. The industry is as good as domicile for now in comatose. If you are trying to heal a sick man, you don't give him all the old drugs and everything that is needed at the same time. You gradually ease the pain. You apply the measures gradually. So at this point, both government and the airline should be talking about reduction in fee, in all ramifications, mm. not increase at all. Right. That is completely a wrong idea and a wrong way to go. All right, let's move a bit away from the increase in the PSC. Um, the government, the federal government, is also talking about the plans to reopen the airports. What methods do you think needs to be adopted in that industry, especially to achieve social distancing, even as the airports, uh, the federal government plans to re uh, reopen the airports? I think it's going to start with the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. First and foremost, all healthy safety protocols at the entry to the airport, at the terminal building, where you have passengers boarding, to the boarding gate, to the seat of the aircraft, including the screening point, the security screening point. There must be social distancing in terms of the way passengers will queue up mm -hmm. for boarding, for screening, for checking. The airlines have a part to play. They will also put in place their healthy safety protocols at their checking counters and boarding areas. Then it is the responsibility of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria to also put in place their own safety protocols at the entry of the airport and within the airport and to supervise the airlines to make sure that their own safety protocols are in place and are being followed by both passengers and the staff. Right. Now, in terms of checking, the distance between one passenger to the other must be maintained. Minimum of two meters with their face mask, of course. And at the boarding areas, both the checking counters, there must be sanitizers that is visible for all passengers to use. Now, for the staff that are going to do the security screening, both the baggage screening, they must also put on their hand gloves and also create an area that is going to give physical distancing between passengers. Right. Now, all this will be possible with the measures put in place by the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria and the airlines, and the passengers to also cooperate with the relevant authorities. So if we involve passengers arriving earlier prior to boarding, all right. so um, that they will not be choked up or rushed to try to complete the checking and boarding processing. All right, Royal Focados, I'm afraid that's all we can take. Uh, evasion professional, thank you so very much for coming on News on the Arm for your contributions. Thank you very much. It's privilege is mine. Right.